replaced Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar, and that was Eric Walls, you heard. And we're at the Eastman booth with Dan and Otto from Eastman, and we're going to be talking about the Juliet, which is the model Eric was, was playing here. So, Dan, tell us a little bit about kind of the, the impetus behind this model. Yeah, uh, Juliet's it's something we're very excited about. It's something we jumped into really at the after NAMM show of 2020. We launched our Romeo series and we had such success with that. And we were kind of saying, what's next? What's the evolution of this? And where are we, where are we looking to the future? So we walked around, Otto and uh, Papen, who couldn't unfortunately make it to, our, to the show this week, but they kind of walked around and said, what do we like? What do we not like? Where are we gonna go? And really we said, well, let's take the success of Romeo, all the things we enjoy about that, and turn it into a solid body design. And so that's where Otto really, I'll let him kind of dive more into the details of the process here, but it's really where they took off and created something that we can really call our own and push the future of our company. All right, Otto, tell us a little bit about the design of this one. Yeah, it's all about progression. I mean, we're moving, the, we're moving forward. Um, we went on with the Romeo, and we looked to elevate to make a little a uh, solid body version of that and yeah we took some of the elements that were uh, we were very happy with and we moved on to a solid body platform and uh, and did a whole bunch of unique things to it and made it our own and uh, yeah it's really all about progression for the brand of Eastman. So as you can see behind us there's a couple different varieties with different pickups so tell us a little bit about what options are available on Julia. Correct so in our vintage red here we're gonna do with uh, this will be with P90s, uh, bare knuckle old guard P90s. All of these, uh, the Juliet models, are solid piece of Kume body, solid uh, Kume neck, ebony board, uh, Godo or Goldware, Goldo hardware, uh, depending on the model, and custom inlaid pick guards. But the fun part for this, and what we're really excited about, and again, uh, another just genius move by Otto here, is a new six in a line head sock design. We've never done this before. So we had to come up with a completely new design. Otto, in his uh, creativity, put the little step down in here, just a nice another little detail that gives the guitar some, makes it a little bit more unique. Uh, and so, yeah, so like I said, vintage red here uh, with P90s. We're calling this the Pomona Blonde, again with bare knuckle old guard humbuckers, Goto hardware, uh, custom inlaid pick guard, same body, solid one piece bodies, all that same fun stuff. And this is where you can really see the beauty of the step down is that white just pops compared to the black. Uh, again, step down, six in a line tuners. And uh, bare knuckle pickups on this one too? Uh, bare, yes, bare knuckle old guard pickups. This guitar is, like Otto was mentioning, it's wildly comfortable, it's light, it's ergonomic, it sits really comfortably and it's very well balanced. So the, it's, it's just fun to play. <laughs> All right, Eric, let's have you maybe play through a couple different, because uh, you have the two pickup or two humbucker version here with a Bigsby. So why don't you can maybe walk us through some of the different pickup uh, settings on this one. Right, position. So, and then the third one that Eric was playing here, this comes with, uh, it's two humbuckers with the Bigsby, right? Correct. So same uh, bare knuckle old guard pickups, but the B5 Bigsby on there, and then that's in our antique black varnish. Uh, and so that's something we hand apply ourselves. We do the aging ourselves. No one of them's ever exactly the same. So it, it adds some uniqueness to the guitar. So that has the Goldo Vario Bridge on there to help with the tuning on the Bigsby and everything. And anything else I'm missing, Otto? Uh, just the beautiful varnish. I mean, that is as thin as possible, really sounds different. Uh, it's extremely thin. I mean, it's just a lovely age-looking guitar, the kind of guitar that looks like it's 50 years old, but it's brand new out of the box. How's it feel, Eric? Amazing. It's very comfortable. This is my first time playing this one, so I'm like, I'm kind of taken aback by it. Now, they said it was pretty light. How would you kind of maybe... Uh, definitely light. Definitely light? Very balanced. Cool. Yeah. So what will be the price points on these this new line? So that one will retail at $2,240. And then the gloss versions, both P90 and the Pomona Blonde, will come in at $1,799 retail. Nice. 
and when can people maybe get their hands on them? So these are in production now. We're still getting kind of ramped up on it, but we should see them coming out into stores in the first batches uh, probably August and September is what we're looking for. You know, as long as the world cooperates. <laughs> <laughs> and where can people go online to find out more information about your Juliet series and all the other guitars and stuff you guys make? EastmanGuitars.com. Come check it out. All right, fellas. Thank you so much for hanging. Thank you. Eric, thanks for playing. You're going to play us out. This is Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar. Thank you.